Hi guys and we're back with another YouTube tutorial, this time making a browser in Delphi. So I am making this on the day of release because I'm a bit late. But um, it's actually really easy in Delphi to make yourself a web browser. So this is our form, I've just literally started a project and saved it somewhere. We're going to come over here and we want a T-Web browser, funnily enough. And we're going to leave ourselves a wee bit of space at the top. Um, you could stick a home button in there. I'm going to just use a normal button. Make it slightly smaller. So, name everything as usual. And, home. so you could um, potentially use a speed button. Um, and put a picture on it, but I'm not going to bother. That's something for you guys to uh, contemplate over later. So I'm just going to put up there, and we're going to jump straight into the code. So what we want is it to load our home page uh, when we start. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the form, we're going to come over here to events, and we haven't used, haven't used a lot of events, but events are great things to use. So we're going to use the on show event, <coughs> which means that when this program starts up, it's going to instantly start um, your web page for you. So if you double click here, it will automatically make you a function. I'm going to go web browser one dot navigate and in my case i'm going to put my blog page uh, as the home button <coughs> sorry guys i'm dying here um and that's pretty much it really um as soon as you start this, it should navigate to that page and we should get a an address bar and all sorts. So it perhaps isn't the best idea to stick it as the stick it as the So as you can see you get my home page, we even get a scroll bar which is very useful. Um, and our home button should work, but you can't see where you are. And that is a small problem. So we're going to come back, we're going to go into our form, and we're going to open the graphical side of it, come out of events, and there should, if we highlight on this, address bar, we should have an address bar. So this is the first time I've actually had to use this software, or I've had to use this plugin. So we're going to look for the address bar. Is there an event on? on... Got toolbar. Anyway, we're going to do it how I thought I was going to do it to begin with. So we're going to add a, an edit box. Like so. Like you would normally have in Chrome or um, anything else. And we're going to add ourselves another button. Drop that at this end. Tab it up until it lines up. We're going to rename our edit box URL edit and our button we're going to rename to um, go done and we're going to go change the text to an arrow mm, doesn't look very good 
I'm just going to stick with go then. And then we're going to make our button slightly smaller. And uh, we're going to do a nice little trick here. We're going to stick our home page in the edit box by default. Like so. We're going to save that. And now we're going to double click on here. And much in the same way that the home button would have taken us back to the blog, we're going to paste it here and instead of this, what we're going to use is the edit box we just created. So we want URL edit.text and we don't want the slash at the front. And now, instead of it just going to um, our blog or you know whatever you've set it to um we can now pick to go to a destination so give it a second to load maybe i shouldn't have chosen a page with so many elements on it but we can go here and we can go to so we're going to google.com and we have google so if you notice, when I maximize it, it doesn't actually track the rest of the page. So we will fix that because you don't want your browser looking like it's not going to track the rest of the page. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on here and then we're going to come up here to anchors. Now currently it's set to anchor in the top right, uh, top left, which is where it stayed. But if we check the anchors for the bottom right and the bottom, it will anchor all the way around the form and Hopefully when we open it, everything doesn't go flying. So we get our blog page with our last video on it. And we get full screen. And we still got our sidebar. So we can scroll down. Try not to highlight all the text whilst I'm there. And now if we go to Google. Um, and hit go. We now get our whole Google page, and you can use Google as normal. And you can see it works fine. Um, you could also anchor these buttons. So um, this button here, so let's say, um, what we're going to do is this button. We want we don't we want it to anchor at the top, but at the top right. And this part, this we need to anchor in place, and we'd like this to anchor with it. So now, if we start it, and go max. Okay, that didn't work very well. But the home button stayed where we wanted it to. So let's take them anchors off. And try it without the anchors. So a lot of the time when it comes to software development, it is a trial and error process. You try it. Does it fit the parameter you want? Yes. Does it function how you wanted it to? Yes. No. So as we can now see, um, it's aligned properly. So we've got a home button up here. And once again, if we go to YouTube this time, this browser should support Flash um, because it's a uh, it's using part of the Windows operating system to emulate Explorer. So you should be able to just simply use Flash as normal. Um, but I've never had to use it um, as a browser personal browser so you'll have to play around with that and uh, you'll have to leave me a comment in the description exactly how you found it and whether it worked well or not but that's it people we have made our own browser and we're going to click the home button just for the fun of it hmm. the home button does not work 
We'll get it back to Google. So that's it, peoples. Um, yeah, it's that simple. Uh, it was really easy. And um, yeah, there's nothing much to it. So thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Um, it would I would appreciate it greatly. And um, till next time. Hey guys, and um, these are two videos you might enjoy. Here is the how to make a notepad, and here is how to get Delphi for free. If you are a new star to Delphi, getting Delphi for free is great. So, hope you enjoy it. If you're not subscribed, there's a subscribe button up here. Till next time. Alright.